Following the conclusion of an autopsy to determine the reason for Sinead O'Connor's passing, her family has been given the opportunity to say their final goodbyes to their loved one. The legendary singer, who was known for having a powerful voice, passed away on July 26 at the age of 56 at her home in southeast London after being discovered unconscious. It was assumed at the time that her death was not being investigated as potentially suspicious. Later on, Sinead's body was taken to be examined by a pathologist in order to secure a medical cause of death, although a report on the postmortem examination might not be received for some weeks. As soon as the news of Sinead's untimely passing was made public, the London Inner South Coroner's Court issued a statement confirming that they will decide whether or not to launch an investigation into the circumstances surrounding her death after receiving the findings of the autopsy and the statements of her relatives. In the meantime, John Thompson, a clerk at the London Inner South District Court, issued a statement on behalf of Senior Coroner Andrew Harris confirming that the findings of the autopsy will be made public if an inquest is opened into the death of the victim. According to Irish Mirror, it is thought that Grammy Award winner O'Connor had been residing just off of Brick Lane in East London for just a few weeks before she passed away. Brick Lane is located in London. Her family, who were inconsolable at learning of her loss, released the following statement. It is with great sadness that we announce the passing of our beloved Sinead. Her family and friends are heartbroken, and they have asked that their privacy be respected during this extremely trying time. After her passing, people from all over the world paid tribute to her in various ways, and commemoration events were conducted all over the country. One of these events took place in Belfast, where fans gathered to commemorate the legendary performer, Inid passed away just 18 months after the passing of her son Shane, who was 17 years old when he passed away as a result of leaving a hospital while on suicide watch. The musician posted a picture of her cherished son on Twitter just before she passed away, along with the following caption, Been living as undead night creature since. He was the love of my life and the light that shone from within me. We were the two parts of a single soul. He was the sole individual in my life who ever loved me without conditions. Without him, I cannot find my way out of the bardo. She had been keeping her followers up to date on her life through her Twitter account, and she had indicated that she intended to compose music in the time leading up to her dying. Later on, it was announced by her management team that she had been putting the finishing touches on a new album, which would be her first studio record in nine years. In addition to this, she was working on completing her future tour dates for 2024 and researching opportunities around a movie of her book.